Hello, welcome to today's edition of Crafting the Cryptic. I'm going to take a look at the Times crossword now. Um, let's load it up and see what we can see. Uh, organisation representing soccer, school in London, wrong. Uh, I want that to be something like a beginning with FA. Let's go for one down. Liabilities resulting from naval attacks. Um, judge extremely illiberal hauled up prisoner. Um, extremely illiberal hauled up prisoner. Goodness me, I can't quite see any of these at the moment. One forgives former addict injecting cocaine at first. That is X user. That's X user for former addict around C for cocaine. Uh, let's look at the four down. Peter Sellers, for one, to appear before audience. Hmm. No. When you see a clue like this, by the way, always uh, be suspicious. It's you know, it's not impossible. The definition here could be Peter, um, rather than, you know, the setter obviously wants you to read that's Peter Sellers, and therefore uh, you should automatically try to resist that. Bird heads for trees having to fly. Uh, okay, that's a good clue. So this is, the answer to this is the name of a bird. Heads for trees having is saying first letters of trees and the first letters of having and then a four letter word fly well that's rush so there we go thrush uh, percussion instrument so we're all, I'm already thinking something drum here players ultimately showed spirit okay well the, I can see that spirit is probably rum players ultimately showed is probably the D there so we're looking for player's side drum. Is that a type of drum? I think it probably is. Let's go for that. School principal overseeing refurbishment of canteen needing much attention. Uh, school principal, headmaster, headmistress, head. Hmm, not sure. A name for male artist surrounded by smoke. Well, this is a name for a man. Um, artist, we've seen before, is very often RA. So you need to think of a word for a smoke. Uh, a short, short word. Put that around the edge. Pause if you need to. Craig is the answer there. Ah, so this is not head. Maybe it's high something. Needing much attention. Um, high maintenance obviously so I can see how school is high principal is main and then an anagram of canteen at the bottom very nice clue uh, maybe a bit like someone sneering about book that's hard to understand Whew. no idea uh, having tussle with rat, canines dazed. Um, well, I wonder if this is an anagram of rat canine. Let's just see if we can get something sensible there. So, in a trance or something like that, in a Letters have we got left here? We've got T R N C E. Yes, in a trance. Uh, Sixteen across. I hadn't reviewed paintings. Um, I hadn't reviewed paintings. Why on earth can't I see the answer to that? Goodness me. English school worry. It could become government property. 
Okay, now I think this is a, a slightly odd word here. I think it's this. A sheet. I vaguely recall that this is a word. I don't know what it means. We'll look it up at the end, but I'm just doing this purely from the wordplay and vague knowledge it's a word. English, E, school, S-C-H, worry, eat. So that, if that's right, then we're looking for I hadn't reviewed paintings. I hadn't reviewed. seeing that at all. It's very worrying. Award nurses in small hospital top accolade. Award nurses in small hospital. Whew. Short synonyms for award? Well, prize isn't particularly short. I'm wondering about uh, things like OBE and MBE here, uh, or even order of merit, OM. Small hospital top accolade. No. Star of show or something. Infamous conservative briefly installed in number 10 useless. No idea. So it seems an awful lot of clue for that many letters there. Brandy knocked back by first of patience in pain. Uh, well, there is a short synonym for brandy that you see from time to time, and that's Mark, M-A-R-C. Once you know that, this, call, this clue becomes relatively straightforward. If you can reverse Mark, add a P for first of patience, and we get a pain, which is cramp. Person not working, keeping blooming pigeons. Person not working, keeping blooming pigeons. Good lord, don't know. Uh, right. Fan of rugby player. Well, I'm already thinking proponent here, simply because I thought of a rugby player as a prop. One not dropping ball. Yes, so it is proponent. It's prop. One, and then not dropping its ball. So not dropping the O. Um, opening a gold reserve, inserting single key. Okay, so here I'm thinking this means opening. And the, I suppose the reason I'm thinking that is that there are two very short synonyms you see, you tend to see for gold, which are AU being the chemical element and OR, which I think is the heraldic colour or something like that. So here we've already got an O, so I'm, I'm thinking this starts like this. It means opening, and I can think of a word that fits. Um, so it's just a case of justifying it. Ice, well, ice is reserve. Inserting single key, one, and then F being the key of F. So orifice, I think, is the answer there. Note one central line, the reverse, several lines. Um, well, what I'm thinking here is a central line is an axis, and it looks like I have to reverse axis somehow in this clue. So the only way I can see of doing that would be like that. And is there a word sixane? Well, I think there might be, because that would work with the word play. So you've got note for N, 1, I, reversal of axis, um, well, the reverse of the whole thing, the NI and the axis. So 6A, if that's a type of poem, I would think, with six lines. Now, I'm pretty sure there are words like sestrain and six. Mm. I'm, I'm fairly confident about that. Confident enough, I'm going to leave it in. Article accompanies leaders in Guardian giving report of trouble. Leaders in Guardian giving report of trouble. Okay, so here, if we, uh, if we look at an article, well, that's normally an article of speech. So you're looking at A, an, or if it's a definite article, the. Well, here we've got an A at the start, so that looks like that's promising. So A accompanies leaders in 
Guardian giving report of, well, that would give you those letters, and Agro is certainly trouble, so that looks right. Show feelings, well, this looks like a moat immediately. Stuck in Portuguese motel, yeah, you can see this is the hidden, that we always have one of these in the Times crossword, so you can look in the letters of Portuguese motel in order, and you'll find e moat. So, okay, worry about appearing in newspaper. Okay. So, the way to get this, um, appearing in newspaper, that appears to be an instruction, i.e. we need to find the name of a newspaper and put it around, say, around the edge of something. Well, there are very few newspapers that are short enough to work in a four-letter answer. Uh, the first I, newspaper I thought of was The Sun, and then I tried to put a C in the middle of that, which would give scum, <laughs> which isn't the word. But you can C for about, i.e. circa. So then I abandoned that and thought about another newspaper that you sometimes see, which is FT, the FT. Now if we put RE in the middle of that, for about, we get fret, and that obviously means worry. So again, the way to get that, I think, is to try and find the instruction in the clue, um, instructions tend to indicate wordplay, and once you do that, you're on the right lines. So let's try the same thing here. Gate crashing pub, wanting drinks. Okay, well, it's a nice clue, this. Um, very, we're helped a lot by the letters. So, pub, there are, I suppose, two very obvious short synonyms. One would be in, I double N, which could work here, but the other one, and perhaps more common, would be bar. And if we put bar here, I'm pretty sure everyone can get the answer. So gate crashing fits this, this pattern, barging in, and you can see you've got gin gin. <laughs> so you've got two drinks at the end of the bar there, um, giving the answer. Welcoming lots of people shortly with very good food. Welcoming lots of people shortly with very good food. Okay, well, I'm going to. I don't know the answer to this yet, but, but experience of wordplay is helping me here. And, and the fact I read the clue very slowly to try and understand what's going on. So, welcoming lots of people shortly. It looks like I need a word for lots of people that I'm going to shorten. I can't see what that is. And then I see with very good. Well, very good sometimes is pie, which is a word which means sanctimonious. Um, so, and then I thought food could be table. So now we're looking at a much more straightforward clue. We're looking for a word that means welcoming that fits this pattern and it's obviously going to be hospitable and lots of people is a host um, so again sort of helped there by a bit of experience so just about enough pre-match publicity just about enough pre-match publicity um, I don't know that one Okay, this is a simpler clue here. Beef, good, re ready for eating. Well, good, that's very often G. That's not that helpful here, because the G could, we still need to work on what the definition is. Um, but there's such an obvious synonym for ready for eating that um, I don't think that's too difficult. And a beef is a gripe, obviously. Now that might help us with getting this one down. Right, liabilities, I'm already thinking something charges now, uh, resulting from naval attacks. Oh, sounds good, doesn't it? Um, hmm, although I can't actually see what the answer is. Depth charges? Uh, sinking? No, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's charges, so let's carry on. Going down to get nurse for daughter, aging. <laughs> ah, okay, well here, I'm thinking this is another slightly odd word. 
going down, that seems to be hinting at descent. I don't know why I think it is, but I think it's because I saw the to get nurse for daughter in the middle of this. And what I'm thinking when I see to get nurse for daughter is I need to put a, a word or an abbreviation for a nurse into a word, um, replacing a D for daughter. So descent, obviously, that does have a D in it. So if I can come up with an abbreviation or a word that means nurse that fits this pattern, I'll have I'll have fulfilled the requirements of the wordplay. Now, I think again there is a word senescent, and I think sen is a is a word old word for a nurse. Um, so, aging senescent. It seems seems likely to me that this is an answer. It's a bit like the one we saw earlier, a sheet, which I can't remember what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's a word. I can't remember what this means, but I'm pretty sure it's a word. Um, I once exchanged emails with one of the great Times crossword solvers of recent years, Peter Biddlecombe, who's a former Times crossword champion uh, many times over, I think. Um, and one of the questions I asked him in the email was, did he know all the words? You know, was his vocabulary so extensive that he could look at a word like aging in the clue here and come up with, you know, several nine letter words that, that fitted the bill? And he, I remember his response, which was emphatically no. I, I think he's a bit like me. He, he he's aware that um, this is this is probably is a word because he's seen it before. But he wouldn't necessarily remember the meaning. He may well know the meaning of this particular word, which I don't. But he, um, uh, it's not necessary actually when you have two goes at the clues. To know the meaning of all these words. In fact, six is another example. It's just the wordplay is allowing me to have a good guess at the answers, um, even though I'm not absolutely sure I know the word exists. Anyway, let's have a look at this one. Get in rada for retraining one might. Well, this is clearly an anagram of get in rada. Um, and I think that there is a word tragedian, um, which looks like it fits the anagram and you can see that a tragedian is somebody who who might go to RADA for retraining I suppose. Right, just about enough for pre-match publicity. Well, I can see how adequate would fit. Why is that the answer? Perhaps it's not just about pre-match publicity. Uh, oh, I see. That's a beautiful clue. That's a beautiful clue. Okay, so the challenge here is to explain why this is the answer. Well, pre-match publicity, an ad is a type of publicity. And pre-match is saying, so we need to put the publicity pre a word that means match, which is the word equate. Um, the question mark here is is needed because this is clearly, uh, you know, it, it's quite punny what the compiler's done here, but it's a superb clue, actually. That's my favourite clue of this puzzle. Um, person not working, keeping blooming pigeons. Wow, okay. Well, I think this is powders, which again, I needed all the checking letters. Slightly working on the definition, oh, sorry, on the wordplay here again. So person not working, I think, is P-E-R-S. So it's the word person without a word that means working. But if you're working, you're on. If something's working, it's on. So we're removing the on from the word person. You can see how we've got the P-E-R-S there keeping, so it's saying the P-E-R-S is keeping, it's on the outside of a word that means blooming. If something's blooming, if a flower is blooming, it's out. So it looks like the wordplay is very ex explicitly giving us pouters, which I presume is some word for a pigeon, and maybe not in the bird sense, I'm not sure. Another interesting piece of vocabulary here. Right, let's see if we can make any progress with here. Okay, well, what I'm 
just been a bit lucky there. So I'm, I was looking at this clue, one down, and I was hypothesizing it might end in ing. And that gave me 14 across, actually, because if we imagine there's an n here, and we look at the definition, which is probably infamous, we can see how the answer is probably notorious. And we just have to justify why. So conservative, briefly, well, a Tory is a conservative, so a brief conservative would be a Tory, uh, you know, Tory without the Y. So conservative briefly installed in number NO, 10, where you can see how I and O look like the number 10. And then useless, well US is, believe it or not, an abbreviation for useless. Um, so that is a very difficult wordplay, um, but we've been lucky and we've managed to, to solve it. So, top accolade, oh I'm wondering, if this is, is this best in show now? So, award nurses in small hospital. Well, that's interesting, very nice wordplay again. So, if you award someone something, you bestow it upon them. And you can see here we've got bestow, nursing, i.e. including, in, I-N, small, S, hospital, H. So it's bestow, nursing, i.e. containing, in, S-H. And best in show is a top accolade. Another brilliant clue, another very difficult wordplay. Right, so maybe a bit like someone sneering hmm, about book that's hard to understand. Well, I wonder if this could be gibberish. It certainly would be hard to understand. Why is this gibberish? Maybe a bit like someone sniggering. Jiberish. Hmm. Someone sneering would be. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one, and I'd hate having this one dangling. I hadn't reviewed. Uh, I'd not. So that's much easier than I was giving it credit for. So I hadn't reviewed here is a bit less difficult because it's actually indicating a reversal, which I didn't see. Um, so if we if we reverse an expression which means I hadn't, um, which is I'd not we get tondi, which is a word which means paintings. Remember, let's remember gibberish we're not sure about, or I'm not sure about. Uh, interfering old females, nasty, not very. Okay, well here again, this is not too bad. This means interfering. Um, old females, well, old is very often O, so let's put an O in and just hypothesize that's correct. Females, well that sounds Female, again, female can be F, so females is perhaps FF. And now have a go at the clue. Pause if you need to. But the answer, I think, is officious. So you've got, and there you can see, you've got old females, O double F. Nasty is vicious, um, without the V, not very. Right, Peter Sellers, for one, to appear before audience. Peter Sellers was a goon, wasn't he? Go on. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I guess people who are more familiar with the goon show would be uh, quicker at answering that one. I think of Peter Sellers, I think he was in the Pink Panther, wasn't he? So that's how I know him. Right. Judge. Extremely illiberal, called up prisoner. Okay. Well, this is, I should have got this more quickly now. Extremely illiberal is quite clearly I-L the extreme letters of a liberal. So looking at that in this context you can see that has to be there. So it looks like lifer which would be a prisoner. So why? We've got judge, ref as in referee, extremely liberal, IL, 
whole thing's reversed. There we go. Organisation representing soccer school in London. Ah, LSE is a school in London. Well, more a university, but I guess school and university are synonymous in some sense. So, so it was FA, and if something's wrong, it's false. So we just have to fill in this one now. Liabilities resulting from naval attacks. Well, floating charges. Now that's a very interesting clue. I say that because a liability, I think of a floating charge as being a charge over an, an asset, i.e. as a, uh, you know, if you, if you lend somebody money and there is a floating charge, it's, it's the form of collateral that, that constitutes a floating charge rather than it being a liability. Hmm, I'm not sure about that definition, but clearly somebody would have checked it. Anyway, this is, I think, the correct solution. I should stop waffling. Let's, let's uh, submit it and see. I'll find out about 6A as well, I guess, and all these others. Yeah, it was correct. So that goes to show you, wordplay is very important. Um, there was a lot, lot in there that I had to sort of guess at, I suppose, um, uh, and I'm sure many of you will have um, more extensive vocabularies and wondering what the problem was. But um, yeah, this, this I'm not unhappy with in the sense that I managed to work out the answer without necessarily knowing all the words. Let's just take. I'm just opening the dictionary now to have a look at a couple of the words. So. Okay, yeah, six same, a stanza of six lines, which is what we suspected. Senison, uh, nearby. Aging, yeah, which I think was actually the, the used in the clue. Um, what else is there? Anything else that we need to actually double check? Uh, I'm not seeing anything there at the moment, actually. I think, oh, a sheet as well. Let's just have a quick look at that. Ah, a sheet, yes, it's a noun. Stuff that reverts to the, or assets that revert to the state or the feudal lord in the absence of an heir. So, there we go. Um, so, great crossword today, I thought. Very interesting. I've, I've gone through it quite slowly, which I hope is helpful. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see you again next time, I hope, on um, Cracking the Cryptic.